Now you're going to put your cuffs on and your collar and then in this bodice part here this can be done several ways to finish this off. I like to do it with a lycra binding and you can use the rib binding that you use for your um, collars. You can use this rib binding and you just cut it to the inch and a half that you need. You can use most anything. But this is the one I like to use. And again, we're going to put it inside out. And I start here. I start here. And I have a good side and a bad side. I put my two good sides together and I start right here at the base of the leg by the seam. And I make sure my needle's down because this is important. Now I stretch the lycra and I run it over just a little bit so it's not quite on the edge because when you stretch it, it shrinks up and you don't want it to be too short. So I run it just a little bit over. I'm stretching it like a rubber band, not the fabric, just the binding. Kind of turn it into the corners. You make it go the way you want it to. And as you're doing that, you're sewing it down. See right here where these two pieces meet, you're going to have unevenness. This is okay because you got to make this fit into a rounded spot. So it's okay if it doesn't look real neat because you're going to trim that off. You just don't want to make your binding too short so you gotta sew it in a little bit. You get down to here and you stop. Okay now we got ours evened up. We want to start sewing this. Now, before I do anything, I make sure that that's going to fit into that little hole and stretch to make it tight. I think I want it to be just a little bit tighter, so I'm going to sew it a little bit tighter. This is one of those guessing kind of things. You just kind of play it by ear. Want a little bit tighter, so I'm not going to take much. Maybe just a eighth of an inch here. See, I didn't take much. That's about all I'm going to need to make that tight in there. Okay, now you can see how much I need to have it stretch and go in there and just tighten it. See, that's how much I need. Now, I'm ready, and I'll trim this just right between my sew lines. That will be good without cutting my lines. And then I come over here, and I catch up on the side and put it in. Following my line down, getting that piece in there straight. There we go. Now it's totally in there. And our seams aren't really matched, but sometimes that's really hard to do. And not most people have their head under this dog's leg looking at to see if my seams are even, so I don't always care. You can get more particular and make it really care, but that's a choice thing. It's a dog jammy to me, so not so important. Now I turn it right side out. And I start over here on the leg. And I straighten it out. I get my seam straight turning it over so I 
You gotta use both hands to do this. And there we go. Now, I stretch everything and turn it over, and I can feel my seam right in here. My seam is right there, and I feel it. And I just make sure your needle's down because you're gonna be pulling on this. And you just wanna feel where that seam is and sew right on that seam or as close to it as possible. And you can see it sews right along the side. There's a foot you can buy that does this too. If you want to get real, real special, you can do that. I just like to feel and do it. Let's turn a little bit of this off. And that's the little business end. And that's how that stays on there like that. And again, you can use, you can hem it, put elastic in there, a little piece of elastic. You can use the binding that you use for the cuffs, the collars, anything. And that's how that's all done. There you go.